Choo choo folks, it's Steve. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Railroads. I'm recording this one the same day I recorded the first video. I have no idea how well that video did, but like I said in that first video, and like I'll say in this one, this is the game that I used to play and I'm now playing again to relax. This was my go-to, and I hope that you add this game to your library down the line. If you want to pick this game up, I've got links in the description for this video of where you can pick this game up. This game first came out, and I believe, and I want to, I'm pretty sure it was still 2006 when this game came out. But I'm going to do another scenario today. We did the Southwest U.S. in the last video. This video, we're going to do the Northeast United States. We're going to go coast to coast here. So, um, I'll actually read through um, the briefing screen when we get there. But this is, it says here straight up, it is recommended for players of all skill levels. I'm a player of all skill level. It's in my title. I'm the average gamer. By You start off in 1830, you go to 1970 on this one. By 1880, your objective is to connect New York, which is up here, Philadelphia, pretty close to the center of the map, and Washington, which is... I want to say it's here or here. I can never remember. Let's see. No, this is Baltimore. This is D.C. I remember now. It's taking some time. It's coming back to me. Upgrade your depots in New York, Philly, and D.C. to full terminals. Deliver 50 carloads of immigrant passengers from New York to D.C. By 1930, you have to create an economic empire and attain a worth of $20 million. Expand your financial horizon by purchasing a 50% stake in another railroad. By 1970, you must ensure the future of your business by building or purchasing a steel mill in New York. You also must establish your dominance in the steel market by shipping 100 carloads of steel from your New York steel mill. There are four, I believe, starting locations. I think Baltimore is one of them. There's one here near Philly. There's one up in Harrisburg, and I think Trenton is, a, is another one. Um, Baltimore and Trenton are the two best to start off with. I personally like Baltimore because I can connect to DC and then shoot up toward Philly. If you start in Harrisburg, you're sunk. You can't make it happen. Um, I think it's Wilmington is this one. You can connect up to Philly and then shoot back down and up. It's a little tougher to get done. Trenton's pretty good because you can hook up to New York and then almost have your line snake down. But Harrisburg is one we do not want to get. Watch me get it right now. Baltimore! Yes! It is the year 1830, and the United States has barely begun its epic journey down the tracks of railroad history. Only 23 miles of railroad track exist today, but the future seems to stretch to infinity for those who control the rails. And of course, you know I'm going to go absolutely bonkers with it. So Frederick, Maryland is close by to us. We have a lumber mill and a stockyard in our city. So how I usually do this, I usually just connect the line down to Washington, and then I will actually just shoot up, go through Aberdeen, and then make my way past Wilmington into the Philly area. Let's see where everybody is. We have Jay Gould, based in Harrisburg. My condolences, good sir. You have Dover. It wasn't Wilmington, it was Dover. Cornelius Vanderbilt is in the Dover area. I need to get to Wilmington before he expands anywhere, because he likes to expand to Aberdeen and then to Wilmington. Then lastly, in Trenton, we have Jim Fisk. Um, I do not have a steel mill here, which is kind of good. Um, where's my coal located? Let's see. Resources, coal. All right, show me the coal. All right, coal is located up here near Scranton. Scranton is right here, eastern Pennsylvania. And we have Newark has a coal facility. So we could do Newark and do it um, out to coal. And does anybody have automobiles? Who creates automobiles? All right, uh, Reading or Reading, depending on how you pass. I think it's Reading, EA. They have a steel mill that can make automobiles. Automobiles produce a crap load of money for us. Uh, this has oil demand. We do have oil here. Who has a grain? Oh, DC has a food. Wait, who has grain? Okay. Who produces food? Aberdeen. No. Wilmington? Who the hell produces food? Okay, it's up here. York. York, PA, has a food plant. But if I needed to, I could actually get a food plant up there. Go ahead and turn that off. And we're still paused, so it's fine on that front. Um, there's a stockyard if I wanted to connect this way. 
But the proper way to go about it, and I really firmly believe it, is to hang the left here. And let's just build a track and get down to DC, start this zone off. The game is still paused. Let me actually uh, hit P to go. And go ahead and do this. Put a depot here, double up the track to about this point. Note, I'm going to do this really, really quick because I want to get this line out as fast as I can. This one, I'm going to have to get fancy to get around this track getting into New York City. Now let's do one and one. And no, no, I only have 040 Grasshopper. This is one of the earliest trains developed. This is from Gillingham and Wellens in 1830, so it is... It's really cute. It really is. But that's just going to do its thing. And I want to zoom in on this guy real quick. And I'm also paused, so I can't really do much with it. So um, let's go ahead and do this. Grab some track. I'll go ahead and set out this way. I don't have any money to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and sell some of my stock. Of course, I'm just doing this to try to get out ahead of Fisk. Once that train arrives in DC, I should be fine. And I'm and the big difference between the last playthrough and this one, I'm actually doing a lot slower uh, playthrough. There we go. So now I've connected Aberdeen and Wilmington. Um, these ones I could easily hook up to run to DC, but this line I'm creating is going to be a high-speed rail line. Wow. Shit, there's Jim Fisk. Oh, wait, it's Jim Fisk. Who the hell's down here? Is it Vanderbilt? Yes, yeah, Vanderbilt down here. Fisk is already connected to Philly. That's fine. Oh, look at that. He went right up to the line. Now, that's fine. You can have access to those cities. I don't care. I have where I want to go. And it's nowhere near where you're going right now. I'm actually going to run the track along this line here. And again, you can tell I've played this game for many, many years, but I know exactly, very early, where I want to build everything. I don't have enough for that yet, but I'm going to hook into New York quick, and I'm going to start running passengers down to D.C. I could probably get away. I want to upgrade it to 2 and 2. I'm going to sell another set of cash. And I've got a plan in this to bring it into this spot for when I run the track out toward the... Um, watch my jiggers. Uh, Redding needs steel, which is actually helpful for us. All right. We're going to quickly connect the three cities, which is fine. 1832. We've already got it done. Liberty Bell, Washington Monument, Statue of Liberty, overcome with new tourists. You actually do not need to load people up in Washington. As soon as I get the next train up and running, I'll absolutely up. As soon as we get the 440 American, I'm going to upgrade that main line, and we're just going to start loading people up and running their asses down to DC. So we've connected all the cities. We've got to do about 1880. It's 1833. I need terminals in all three, and I gotta move 50 carloads of passengers. It can be done. It will be done. Because damn it, I can. But look at this. Everybody's now connecting to cities that I have hooked up to, but I'm not building terminals. I'm not building anything in these cities yet. Now for this one, as soon as I can upgrade it, which I'm gonna do right now, this is actually going to allow faster loading and unloading of passengers. Ooh, there's my first upgraded train. I'll go ahead and upload it because I want this train to move faster. And note, this train has four cars on it and it's struggling. You can hear it. I think that right there is one of the reasons we don't have that much in rail travel here in the United States today. Of course, it's also going up a very heavy uh, incline right there. 
I don't have food production here, but I'm going to do a lot with this um, later on in this video. Don't worry. I know I have none of my own stock, but I guarantee you I'm going to be making a shitload of money in this. So the refinery, I can actually just do some oil for that. And they'll produce, uh, yeah, they'll produce some goods for Baltimore. Ooh, I'm going to film with that. Frederick, ooh. Ooh, there's even lumber up here and food. I'll be dipped. All right, hang on. Once I get some uh, pastures in Baltimore, I'm going to build a double track, and I'm going to head up to the sawmill and also to the beef company. We're going to have some more fun with this. All right, now I'm seeing that train tracks are starting to crisscross and whatnot. Again, I'm not concerned about the stuff out here. That's fine. Note that Fisk connects Trenton, Philly, and then an oil company. It's all he's got access to right now. Here, if Vanderbilt was smart, he could actually start expanding down here, getting a lot of stuff going in this way. He needs access to a paper mill, actually, because the newspapers demand paper. Uh-huh, think about it, newspaper's paper. All right. Like I said, this game, it may not seem like the most exciting thing to you, but for me, after a long day, this is therapeutic. This helps me relax. So I've got a terminal here, so I'm going to get more money from these passengers coming out in New York, and we're going to see it here in a moment once this uh, train arrives. No, that train is probably... When did this train leave the station? This train is two years old. It still hasn't made it from New York to Washington. Just think about that. I'm actually going to upgrade you, too. There we go. Get him a little more speed on this guy. And of course, it's just passengers and mail. Now, I mean, this this is a distance covered in, what, 45 minutes by, tr uh, by, by car now? 33, 27. I mean, that's a good deal of cash coming my way. And now I'm going to start buying up some of my own stock. Build up a bit of a war chest. Build that double track in Baltimore like I was talking about. Actually, I'll build it on the other side here. Yeah, I'll build it on the other side. Alright, this train is finally pulling into the station after three years on the rails. But just the, the amount of money we're going to get here. Just watch. Wait for it. $105,000, With one train load of passengers. That's essentially all my money made back up. And he's just going to run straight back to New York. I am going to upgrade this one to a, to, a, to a terminal to do faster loading and unloading of passengers. There's a, pa there's a paper mill here, but there's no wood nearby. The New York Wood Company has wood. Could run it to Trenton to produce the paper that I need, but there is, ooh, the paper mill here. Hmm. I'm having an idea. What I can do is take the, the wood from the uh, New York Wood Company, run it to Newark, grab the coal, run it back to the steel mill I'm planning to build in New York, come back, get the paper, run it in. I can make it work. Oh! Oh no, Baltimore is now stealing my... Or who's this guy? Jay Gould, he's stealing my passengers from Baltimore. Whatever will I do? Well, definitely not what I'm planning to do. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to take this double track, this terminus that I built, run it up here. I'm going to run it right past his tracks, and then kind of hook it around here real tight. Well, I can't because I don't have any money for it. But I'll hook it around and get up to that. Does he have a food plant? He doesn't even have a food plant. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, I think he's trying to hook to Baltimore at some point. Vanderbilt sets a speed record. Annex, Annex. That's absolutely fine. I could put something in Frederick, but Baltimore's got my furniture factory, so I'll use that one. Go here, clear it, go here. I'm just going to do four. 
Then we'll load it up and we'll start producing food. Food, mind you, brings in about 24,000 per carload. Manufactured goods, 32,000. The furniture factory is considered a manufactured good. Okay, how the absolute hell did this happen? This should not be fit. This should not be possible in the game. Uh, what I'm seeing here. Because I plan to build more. Um, the fact that the game's doing this, I'm a little concerned because it shouldn't be able to do that. Let's go ahead and buy my stock back. So I get 10 years of cheaper rails. Ugh. Again, I mentioned this last week's, in last week's video. This is what happened when the game gets a little... So I gotta start buying some people out quick. Next train load of folks coming down from uh, New York will help out with that. Ugh. Just how, just how horrid it looks. I think what I'm gonna do on the New York to Washington line, cut it down to six for future runs. Get in there a little faster. All right, while that's happening, all right, oil prices are dropping, that's fine. But I'm gonna start working on my plans. Not sure if you had a lag spike in the video, but it looks like it has slowed down a little on my end. Alright, don't have enough cash to do my plan to get all the way out to the Newark Coal Company. There's the 440 American. Yes. Upgrade you. And then I'm going to put the camera on you. So he's going to get a little bit more speed onto him. And we're going to start getting a lot more cash coming out. You are also going to get upgraded to a 440, because we want to start moving passengers a little faster between the two cities. Of course, uh, Jim Fisk, no, Jay Gould, is taking all the food I'm producing and taking it over to Aberdeen, which is fine. Because I'm going to end up buying his ass out. Probably with this load of train cars. So it's going to be Gould or Vanderbilt I need to buy out next. And I think it needs to be Vanderbilt, just because of this monstrosity that's been created. Okay, here we go. Train arriving in D.C. I'm just going to buy up my uh, share here. And I still have enough to build my track out. I've set a speed record near Baltimore Terminal. Cool. I'm gonna do this, this, and this. Now to build, I didn't mention it in the first video, but to build a new industry, it takes you $500,000, and I wanna build a steel mill in New York to make, uh, to complete that objective. New York needs a steel mill. So my super evil plan is have the steel being made. I'll run a parallel track out to about here, the Trenton Seed and Grain. Then I'm going to swing it off out toward Reading to produce automotives. Auto, automotives, automobiles. There's coal up here as well, and I can even run up to like Scranton and get coal from there, or steel from there if I need to. I don't think I need to, though. So now Fisk is starting to buy into Gould, or Gould buying into Fisk. Whatever, you know what I mean. But let's go ahead and start my plans here. Clear it out there. It has its own dedicated line for this. And paper delivers 24,000, wood delivers 14,000. Just more money, more ways you can diversify what you're able to make. So, let's see. So yeah, it's Vanderbilt or Gould I need to buy out first, and I think it's going to be Gould. But if I want to go that route, that'll actually uh, help Domino and get into Jim Fisk's pockets as well. And in Baltimore. Add two carloads of that, please. I'm going to have him add two carloads of manufactured goods. 
Because those manufactured goods bring in, the, bring in some cash. Aberdeen has grown into a city. Baltimore's now a metropolis. So Aberdeen will now start taking the manufactured goods that I'm producing here. Kind of sucks. Since they've got food coming in here, though, from Easton Farms, I could, in theory, go ahead and buy the stockyard up. First things first, though, I'm going to buy the newspaper in New York. I'm going to buy the failing New York Times, make it a success. All right, so Newark's now hooked up. They're going to start producing food for Newark. I like this. And I could even do that myself if I want to swing up that way. It could be done. Nobody pay attention to what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm going to go back down to Baltimore. I'm going to start buying up industries. Because this is going to help me start pulling down just more money out of more re out of more uh, sources. Okay, I got to go for Jay Gould because I don't know what's going on with the tracks here. You should not be able to build tracks through this, dude. Eat a dick and buying this. Hmm. Okay, I got to start buying the Vanderbilt soon. Absolutely need that as well. And note, every carload of lumber now brings in uh, money at my plant. I forgot the word. I actually need to buy stock in Vanderbilt just so I can have something in there. It's actually a really good steal for that one. Um, paper mill. I am actually going to go ahead and put an order in for the paper mill. Odd, he's going for coal too. I don't have enough money for this crap. There we go. Whew. Who needs coal near here? No one. Knock it off. I'm buying this paper mill. Okay. All right. So that one needs coal and oil. Um, okay. So Jim. Uh, so Gould is buying stock in Fisk, which is fine because when I buy out Gould, I'll get his stock in Fisk. And now I'm going to start making money coming and going from New York. Uh, from this little uh, spur line I've created. It's a good thing. York now needs manufactured goods. This is just an absolute mess. I will fully acknowledge that right now. This is n this is not what the hell is this? Who owns these tracks? Okay, yeah, definitely buying out Jay Gould because this is just angering me with how bastardized this looks. One thing is, like, all he's doing is just taking all my passengers from both cities. What's he loading on here? Okay, yeah, finish loading up everything he can. And he's also taking all the manufactured goods that I'm producing from here. That's just frustrating. Which also explains how we can buy stock in Fisk. Yeah, absolutely going to liquidate everything I can from this when I'm done. Do I own the stockyard here? No, I don't. I need to buy the stockyard here. How much am I going to get for this one? Not bad. Getting 61000 per. 
upgrade you to a station. And then we didn't just get a terminal, and then we're gonna take a few more train loads to make it happen. I don't know where he's gonna take the coal to. Atlantic City. Oh. Smart. Hmm. Twenties you know what sold ten okay, so we bought and sold stock over there. Yeah. This one's pretty shrewd. The AI I've got in this one are uh, a little bit tougher than I was expecting. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Just to get that cleared up. Just to knock out another thing in the victory. Alright. Where am I going now? Where the heck is this? Okay, well he is doing manufactured goods out of here, which I could buy that facility. I could buy his refinery and start making money out of this as well. I think the actual play needs to be for me to buy the stockyard in Baltimore. That way I can make money off the food, off the uh, livestock that's coming in. Building terminals out here? Yeah, I gotta buy Jim. I gotta buy Gould out quick. Martin and Jim Fisk stock, okay. I doubt I'm gonna get it before this train arrives, but game you, Vanderbilt. All right, so I got the stockyard in Baltimore. I've got the, the paper mill here. I'm not worried about the food plant, honestly. It's gonna be the steel mill in New York that I have to worry about once I build it. Not bad, a little bit more cash coming in every play. Unfortunately, I have nothing to upgrade him to. Now, I could slowly start making my way out and planning toward building out toward Reading. Eastern just needs oil, and oil could be gone from there. When I've, do when I've actually played this game, if you roll it just right, you can get... Sweet. Every train's gonna be upgraded to this in a moment. Um, there's like two massive coal deposits right here. Let's go ahead and upgrade all my trains. Okay. Uh, this just looks uglier and uglier every time I come back to it. So Jay Gould has to be bought out. Let's go ahead and upgrade him to a 260. Ooh, passenger. Uh, that's actually now worth more. Excellent. This is going to be so much cleaner when I'm done with this. This is just a, ugh. It's actually hard to look at, so I'm just going to I'm just going to scroll away from it. I almost have enough to get the steel mill up and running. Perfect. Let's go ahead and buy that steel mill. I'm going to upgrade this too. So Newark Depot. Is that to New York Terminal? Clear it there. Delete this. Get this. Go here. Go here. Empty. Here. Load up. Here. Clear that. Yep, that's what I want. So he's still going to load up. He's going to go here, but he's going to drop all the cars. Grab as much coal as he can, run it into New York, come back, get some of the paper that's been made, and run it back into New York. Even though food and paper are the same cost. Hmm. Let's go ahead and also double track. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, because he double tracked over mine. Oh. Ah, so much dick moves here.
I actually have to kind of like bring it off of this and cross out here. That's fine, I can make that work. Then you just have to connect to here. Because now I've got an automobile factory. I'll purchase that here in a few minutes. And I can finish this one off. Alright. Nobody's buying stock in me, which I'm okay with. Am I okay with that, though, actually? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I'm actually, if I'm actually okay with that or not. I'm gonna have to keep those cars on and see if I can nick some of those uh, manufactured goods that are being made in the DC area. Right, got another train load of passengers coming in. We're, we got 21 years that I've got to do. Let's see, I've got 32 of 50 right now. One of 38. Yeah, it's just two more train loads and I'm fine. Nice though. 100,000 per. Oh no, I'm so scared, replies competition sardonically. Yeah, I want to buy out everybody else right now. I don't need this one, so I'll just go ahead and say no to that. Since I own the steel mill and I own the newspaper, it's totally fine. I'm going to put the automobile factory... Um, up for auction next. Hmm. I kind of want to do an Allentown to New York line, but at the same time, I don't want to pull any passengers off of the... What's it called? Uh, and if you ever want to actually figure out where it is, there's this little button next to the add 50,000 cost to it. Just click on that. It's right above the uh, S on my logo on your screen. Just click on that. It'll just shunt you over to where it needs to be. I need to buy more of Vanderbilt stock, too, because he's buying himself out. Okay. Like, I'm not giving up on this one. It's just a given. It ain't happening. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some more of my stock. I'm actually gonna make my move toward Jay Gould now. Because once I buy him out, I'll be in a great position to buy out Jim Fisk. Coal, so you say no to dirty coal plants, industry panics. So we're going to see the coal price here start to plummet. That's fine. We're moving passengers at a brisk pace across the country. And very quickly, we're going to complete the first objective for this. The net worth we're going to get probably relatively soon. And then also the steel mill stuff. So let's go ahead and build a steel mill train. Whoops. Would help if I had a, a depot out here. Now let's build it. And it's just gonna might as well move as much as I can out. Bring as much as I can in. Alright. Now comes the waiting game. Can I get enough money? to buy out Jay Gould before he buys out Jim Fisk. And this may actually involve buying some of... Damn it, he bought more of it. Did he buy more of it? He may have. I need to buy actually some Jim Fisk uh, stock. So when Gould moves up, I can sell it and start to... Yeah, he just bought more of it. Damn. I should have been buying into this one as well as the Jay Gould. So that way, when 
Ghoul to start to buy it up, I could sell it and put the money toward buying him out. So, I'm gonna buy a little bit of that as well. Once Fisk buys up that last one, I'll sell it and hopefully have and hopefully get me enough to buy his last bit of stock out. And then get rid of this disaster that I'm looking at. Oh, and the horse you rode in on, Vanderbilt. Barrowman. So he's now connected to Redding. And he's going to start pulling some of the cars that I've bought and making more money off it. Dick move. Yeah, we're definitely dealing with some robber baron types here. Oh, sweet. Paper mill actually bring up a ton of stuff. I'm actually going to upgrade this to a station. Just to load and unload a little faster here. Oh, wow. Newark has become a city. Right in front of me. I remember when it was just a little town. They grow up so fast. I'm at Baltimore. My furniture plant in Baltimore is getting bigger and bigger. I like it. Alright. I was actually thinking this game was going to be... Or this playthrough was going to be a single video. I was wrong. I'm actually going to put a cut in here. Next week... We're going to finish up this scenario. I'm going to buy Jay Gould. I'm going to buy Jim Fisk out. I'm going to make my way into buying out Vanderbilt's candy ass. Ooh, new pasture train. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. This one just arrived in Washington. Awesome. Flag sales boom. How can you make a profit? Turn to page two. So we've gotten all this one done. The net worth, we're going to get these last two achievements knocked out in the next video. Okay, we had two different uh, soundtracks playing there. Um, oh, and we got the uh, incentives for doing that. Okay, so Fisk bought out the last bit of stock for him. So I'll sell that little bit there. Note, I'm going to get all of this stock here as soon as this happens. Ugh. Look at this is just... It's ugly. It really is. Lancaster demands steel, but as far as I can tell, nothing's hooked up. Alright, I gotta put a cut in here. Next video, let's make some more things happen. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.